Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra Limited Nightshade Hybrid in the color silver. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, you have the gas component of the hybrid energy system. It is the iForce Max Twin Turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission. Gets up to 437 horsepower, 583 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 11,171 pounds and payload up to 1,609. Up front, you've got your LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, fog lights down below. Of course, you've got that Tundra logo up front. Across here, you'll also find these little round nodules. These guys are the front parking sensors. Onto the side here, we've got 20-inch black alloy wheels. On either side of your hood, you'll find your iForce Max badge. Then, side mirrors include integrated turn signals, and blind spot monitoring. And on both of your front doors, you'll find your Tundra badge. Both of your front handles, you'll find this a little dimple. Talk about that guy more on your driver's side. Going back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and on both of your rear doors, you have your limited trim level badge. In the back here, we've got the bed lamps turned on. These guys can be turned off and work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Rear windshield is also power adjustable. We'll look at the controls for both of those when we get inside. Now approaching the back of the vehicle, across the back, just like the front, you've got backup parking sensors going the whole way. 4x4 badge on the left, hitch receiver down below, and spare mounted underneath. Then you have your Tundra logo inset across the back of the bed, and you have the iForce Max badge on the bottom right hand corner. To open up your bed space, you've got a couple of options. One of them is to reach in and press the button inside the handle itself. The other one is to go over to your rear driver's taillight. You'll find a button on the side. Give that a press, and it will automatically bring itself downwards. Across the back here, you've got the Tundra logo. You can look along the inside of the bed itself. Of course, we've got the bed lighting. You have tie-down hooks, bed rails, and on the right-hand side, you've got a power outlet. To close it up, if you want to, you can reach down and bring it up manually, or you can just go over to that tail light again, Press the button, and now it will raise itself back up. This is available with the hybrid model Tundras as of 2025. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. So inside here, your interior upholstery is the black soft touch leatherette. Looks solid from the side, but if you look at it head on, you'll find this geometric print that will emerge. This is only available with this trim level for this specific print. Now, in between the two sides, of course, we have a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which can easily fold away to increase your seating capacity. Up top next to your middle headrest or your rear passenger headrest, you'll find this little fabric strap. If you release this guy, you'll be able to access storage space in behind of your seats, including your toolkit back there for your spare. You can also adjust your lower seats down here. If you want, you can release this little strap just to make sure it's fully unlocked. You can just lift this seat upwards and it will be able to stay in that upright position if you pull it, push it all the way. Of course, we do not have the lower storage down here for the hybrids because we've got some other tech that lives underneath your rear seats, but the seats are still adjustable in order to just change up the way that you have your cargo space, or if you want a slightly more solid space to rest any of your goods on. If you have the seat in that upright position, you just pull that little strap and it will come back downwards. Looking upwards now, Overhead, there is the panoramic moonroof for everybody inside to get a nice view of. On the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holders, cubby spaces, and chargers down below. And all new units come with both carpeted and rubber mat sets. Inside your door, tons of storage space and your power window control. Now, back again to this little dimple, this guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here or inside to lock or unlock your unit. Inside the door, power windows here for both front and back. You've got your window lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. On the left, this allows you to adjust your side mirrors to go flat with the body of your unit. You can keep it set to A for automatic, so they'll fold and unfold when you lock and unlock the vehicle with a key fob, or you can manually adjust these at any point in time. Underneath from here is your memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronic seat adjustment, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. Hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, you've got the controls for the rear bed lamps, 
automatic headlamps, gas release, you have dash brightness, odometer, trip, rear parking sensors, AC 120 volts, you have heated steering wheel, and headlamp leveling. Hop up here and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel itself. So the steering wheel is black leather with a black stitching, much like the seats. Left side here, controls for your dash display. Then you have your hands-free communication and volume control. Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top. This includes a sonar and a lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little storage space. You've got a 12 volt adapter on the left hand side of it. And underneath is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about the daily driving experience. Currently, you are looking at your optional navigation. You can choose to connect that through Toyota Connected Services. Then you have your audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters throughout. Then phone connectivity via Bluetooth, you've got trip information, and then all of your vehicle settings. Everything from your personal profile, Bluetooth, general Wi-Fi display, sound media, dealer info, security apps, etc. Underneath here, you've got the climate control center. Dual climate control up front here means that you can either have your temperatures synced up, which they are right now, so they'll work together at all times, or if you turn off the sync, you can then have them functioning independent. In the middle, defrost your front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors, and on either side, you have three levels for both heated and cooled seats, blue for cool, red for heat. On the right-hand side here, you've got the adapter on the right. To the left is your volume control. Left of this, push start ignition and trailer brake controls. Back in the middle, traction control and four ways. You also have the control for that power adjustable tailgate. Then, parking hold and parking brake. You've got your gear shift, two wheel, four high and four low controls, driving and towing mode. You've got storage spaces all throughout the middle here up front. You have the wireless charger. This guy has little bumpers on the sides and bottoms, making sure that your phone is super secure when it is in that location. This feature also means you never again have to worry about having charging cords on your person. Though, of course, if that is your preference, there are plenty of adapters in the vehicle. And you still have a clear line of sight to this space to have an eye on your phone for any notifications coming in and out. And there's lots of additional storage space around there, so it's not taking up any valuable storage real estate. Behind that, cup holders, then you've got your console, two layers of trays, top and bottom. The bottom one can be slid open to get quick, easy access inside. This can be opened up from either side here. Just press the button in and swing it open. Stepping from the back here, we've got some interior lighting so you can see in the space even at night. Lots of different storage options available inside here. You've got chargers as well as coin holding slots. Now on the right hand side and down below, you've got a lockable glove box. Up overhead, one, two, and three dots. These guys are garage door openers. Then you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, controls for the panoramic moonroof. And on the left is the adjustment for the power adjustable rear windshield. You can take a look at it in action. Press the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll back closed. You can stop at any point along the way to suit your preference. Great feature for getting extra airflow inside of your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra Limited Nightshade Hybrid in the color silver. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.